Hey guys, John Sharps here from the gun bench. I've got mounted on the vise a Remington Model 700. I've got this here because we just launched the Remington Model 700 version of our heat seeker chassis and I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to transform uh, a standard Remington 700 into a chassis based rifle uh, that's got a lot more features than the standard stock. Uh, so I'm gonna make this quick. First, as always, when you're working on a gun, especially a bolt action, remove the bolt. I've got soft jaws here in this vise just so that I can uh, work from a vise like this. With the Remington 700, it's very, very easy. It really just has two action screws that are holding in this bottom metal and the uh, stock to the barrel to action. So I've got just a 3 16 inch wrench here. Pop this guy out. So there is the Remington 700 bottom metal is out. They use a little in metal insert as well. Should just be able to pop the stock off. So here's just the, the standard plastic stock, the Remington 700, Let's set that aside. So you're left with the barreled action and trigger. And here's Heat Seeker. Heat Seeker comes packaged like this. Inside you will find um, some stickers, um, a QR code that'll take you to a video that'll probably actually this video. Um, and sort of an Ikea like assembly drawings. Goes together pretty quickly. Um, but you, so you got a one page drawing there. Inside the foam, you've got a chassis body, a hand guard, and a small bag of parts. We'll start with this chassis body, which just drops right over the top. Get it lined up nicely. And in the bag of parts, you're gonna find, you're gonna find two new action screws and a few other parts. Right now, we'll just talk about the action screws. These are the same size action screws in terms of length. Um, I always get the first one in snug or the front one in snug. And then install the rear one in snug. And then we'll torque them down here in a minute. All right, dang, you're done. We're gonna add the handguard in a second, but I wanna torque these screws down. Uh, I'm gonna use. So I like to set these, or I think you should set these to 55 pounds and use a torque wrench. That way you know you're not overdoing it. Here's 55, so we'll do the front one. When those pop over, they're at 55 pounds, and that is as much as you need to go. Now, let's see. I think we'll put the handguard on next. So the handguard first just slides over the top with a nice friction fit. I'm gonna mount this back in the vise. So first it's friction fit, but then we have two locking screws and those came in the bag of parts. So this is, these are little three, three thirty second screws. I'm just getting started. All right, now, so now we have the chassis body mounted to the barreled action. The barreled action is, is now floating inside that chassis body. 
and we slid this handguard over the top and it's mounted to the chassis body. The only thing left is to add a grip and then an AR stock of your choice. I always start with the stock first and I recommend you do as well. Um, in this case today, I've got a rival arm stock. It's a pretty low cost aluminum based stock with a nice limb saver on the back and an adjustable cheek piece. It threads in like a standard AR-15 stock. It's the same, it's the same extension, same buffer extension thread. Get it to go all the way, it's tight there, then line her back up, up and down. Um, then in the bag, we inside the bag of parts, we have a little set screw, which goes in here. And this is why I recommend doing the stock first before the grip, so you have access to that set screw. That will help keep this aligned up and down. Then we have um, a, uh, just use a standard barrel nut, or sorry, uh, castle nut here to lock this guy in. Put a, just put a wrench on it just to tighten her up. Then you have access to add a grip of choice. Uh, you want to choose a grip, um, an AR style grip that doesn't have a big tall beaver extension or beaver tail. This one is a Daniel Defense. They, I like how they feel quite a bit. It's got a nice over mold. Um, a lot of times I also use a Magpul K grip or Sharps Bros. Oops, wrong screws. Sharps Bros makes a uh, Brazilian cherry grip set, uh, which you can see on this rifle over to the right. That looks looks great but i'm not going to keep pimping every, everything we sell so i'm just going to use a standard defense so you can see what something else looks like on here all right that is basically it So now with the Daniel Defense Grip, Rival Arm Stock, the Remington 700 Barreled Action sitting inside our Heat Seeker chassis, you totally transformed your Remington 700. Check it out. I think you guys are going to dig it.